from a, like we could we can see then how much exercise they did. They also record how many steps you do um, every day and how much energy you use up. So they're they're so small, but they record a lot. We also found that people who do sports more like outside school dance more vigorously at the discos, and there was more like steps taken, whereas the people who don't were they were down below. And some people danced twice as much had made twice as much steps at disco as they would have during the whole week, so it was shocking really. What's your conclusions from it? Well, basically we found out that going to disco is actually very good for you and it's a great way to get healthy and that we recommend it for everyone. <laughs> Down now to the De La Salle College in Waterford City where Peter and Dara came up with the idea of finding out what do youngsters know about skin cancer. OK, boys, this is Peter and Dara. They're two fifth-years here in our school, and they're here to hand out some surveys for their Young Scientist project on skin cancer. In all, they're surveying 400 teenagers. 200 male and 200 female. And then we're doing a focus group um, on a mixed-gender school, and we're looking at them, how they respond to a talk on skin cancer. Well, we expect to find that a lot of teenagers don't know anything about skin cancer because we think that they're not getting enough talks towards it. We would be hoping that they did, but unfortunately, so far, it doesn't look like that's the case. Do you know from your research, has there been any deaths? Can skin cancer kill young people? Yes, it does have a high mortality rate at about 20%, roughly. And in terms of young people getting it, any figures at the moment we know of? Well, they say you can develop at any age, really, but it's better off to stay protected at a young age using high sunscreen and not taking any risks. Over the road at WIT, Sarah and Liz are being allowed to use the lab facilities. They're trying to find out, does the traditional hot whiskey or hot toddy kill bacteria?